hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra olympiad equation from here we can remove this you know fraction and multiply through by 8 from here when you multiply by 8 we have 8 times x cube plus 8 times x square then equals to 1 over 8 also times 8 this 8 we cancel out here remain 1 so we can write this as 8x cube plus 8x square then equals to 1 and uh, let's take this one to this side and this becomes 8x cube plus 8x square minus 1 equals to 0 and in the next step we can write 8 as 2 raised to power 3 as well that's 2 times 2 times 2 that's 8 then multiply by x raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 as well then x raised to power 2 minus 1 equals to 0 then here we can remove one of the two from here and then this will become 2 raised to power 3 x raised to power 3 plus 2 times 2 square 2 times 2 square that's 2 raised to power 1 that's the 2 raised to power 3 then times x square minus 1 equals to 0 and then from here we have same power of 3 so we can bring it out and say 2x raised to power 3 or raised to power 3 from law of indices then plus 2 into bracket 2x raised to power 3 as well raised to power 2 rather then minus 1 equals to 0 so we have 2x common so let's see be equals to 2x here then this equation can be written again as t raised to power 3 plus 2t square minus 1 equals to 0 then we have a cubic equation here that is we can solve this with any method of our choice from here we can separate 2t square as t square plus t square and when we combine this plus that's 3 cube plus this then minus 1 equals to 0 then we factor all this common here from these two we have t square common we have t square into bracket t plus 1 t left here then 1 left here then plus this side we can say we have 1 square as well because 1 can also be written as 1 square then using perfect square we have t plus 1 then multiply by t minus 1 which is equals to 0 and then in the next step we have t plus 1 come on we take it out we have t plus 1 then out into bracket t square left here that's t square plus we have t minus 1 left here which is equals to 0 and uh, in the next step uh, we have two cases here we have t plus 1 equals to 0 or we have t square plus t minus 1 equals to 0 so on this side we have t equals to minus 1 and they uh, will represent t as 2x so we can say 2x now equals to minus 1 and then uh, from there divide both sides by 2 x will now be equals to minus 1 over 2 here so we have one of the value of x on this side then also from this side we have we can use formula to solve this quadratic equation so t will now be equals to minus b that's minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square 1 square minus 4 ac a is 1 then c is minus 1 we have minus 1 here then over 2 times a 2 times 1 a is 1 as well then t here will be equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1 then minus times minus plus 4 over 2 so also we have t equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 now we have two cases of t here which the first you know case we have t equals to minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 and uh, the second case will be t equals to minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 and since t is represented as 2x so we have 2x 
equals to minus 1 plus root 5 over 2. And then since we are finding x, we can multiply both sides by half. So multiply this one by 1 over 2. Multiply this side by 1 over 2. And uh, these two will cancel to here. We have x left. We are finding which is equals to minus 1 plus root 5. Then 2 times 2 here, yeah, that's over 4 now. So we have minus 1 plus root 5 over 4. And also from here, we have 2x as t, which is equals to minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. Also, let's multiply by 1 over 2. Then we have x left here. We also be equals to minus 1 minus root 5 over 4. So we have these three values of x we have half minus half and also we have this x equals to minus 1 plus root 5 over 4 and also we have this x equals to minus 1 minus root 5 over 4 thank you for watching please share this video subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell as well for more exciting videos see you next class and bye for now